love watching my little boys run around. But now when I watch, I cannot help thinking about the dogs in Korea. And my heart drops. E.K. flew home to Korea this spring to visit her family on the small farm where she grew up. What happened next would change her life forever. I saw some men standing on the bridge near my mother's farm. They were trying to hang a dog. Tears were streaming down her face. She was crying out in horror. This terrifying experience brought back a flood of memories. Scenes of men slaughtering dogs, hanging them from the bridge, and beating them to death. Back then, everyone was poor. Dog meat was a cheap source of protein. But those days are gone. The abuse needs to stop. We are better than this. Jinok lives in a small village outside Seoul. Last year, she discovered 20 dogs at a nearby chicken farm. They were tied up outside with no water or shelter. When one of the chickens died of disease, the farmer would throw it to the dogs. Otherwise, they were left to starve. Chinook found out that the dogs were about to be sold for meat, so she needed to act fast. With help from the community, she raised enough money to buy the dogs. Other volunteers quickly stepped up with food, medicine, and transport. The grassroots animal rights movement in Korea is growing fast and making some serious noise. But those who speak up play a dangerous game. Animal rights advocates in Korea face ridicule, threats, and sometimes violence. It takes a strong will to stay motivated. Jinok explains. 제가 이렇게 어, 불쌍한 동물들을 돌아보면서 많은 상처들을 받고 또 이렇게 어려운 일들도 많이 겪고 경제적으로도 굉장히 많은 이런 힘든 일들을 많이 겪습니다. 그렇지만 저는 단한 번도 이 일을 포기해야 되겠다. 또는 어, 이 일을 이제 더 이상 그만둬야 되겠다라는 생각을 할 수가 없었어요. 왜냐하면 그 동물들의 그 불쌍한 동물들을 저의 고통은 잠시이지만은 그 아이들은 내가 조금만 도와주면 그 아이들의 삶이 바뀌어지는 것을 내가 볼수 있는데 Jinox action had immediate results. The day after the dogs were rescued from the chicken farm, one of them gave birth. Soon after, a second litter came. Within a week, 15 beautiful puppies were born into freedom. But for each dog rescued, many more will suffer. Over 2 million dogs are slaughtered in Korea each year. Meanwhile, the dog meat industry continues to thrive with no regulations or oversight. Our goal is to stop the abuse and replace cruelty with compassion. We're producing a documentary film to raise awareness and share the story of Korea's dogs. We're building a global community to speak with one voice. And we're developing an international adoption program to provide rescued dogs with the loving homes they deserve. Let's be clear. This isn't a fight against the dog meat industry. This is a movement for compassion towards all living things. These dogs deserve our help, but we need your support to make it happen.
Please help us free Korean dogs.